Ready? Ready. Please. Julie, I have seen your picture so many places, and I have read so many words about you. You know, you drive press agents and interviewers absolutely into a frenzy, trying to think of words and phrases to describe you. Who are you? Who is Julie Christie? Oh, for goodness sake, don't ask me that. How do I know? I certainly can't bother to stop and think about it now. You are the, uh, sort of the manifestation of a new generation, of one free individual, freewheeling, uh, I forget all the phrases that have been used about you, but you are an individual. Well, I hope you make so. your own rules. <laughs> play the game according to the way Julie Christie wants to play. Of course, this is my life, isn't it? Billy Lyre, all of a sudden, in 11 minutes, projected you into uh, the limelight, if not the stardom. But then you said no to any more films, and you went on the road. You came to America, you went to France, touring with the Royal Shakespearean troupe. You really liked this. Was this a discipline as an actress? Well, first of all, it's, it's what I wanted to do more than make films, so there's no great. Um, Nothing very great about that. Um, I, I just how I happen to enjoy it. stage work. No, good set of Thank, Thank you, you very much. And uh, you know, it was to me a great honour to be acting with the Royal Shakespeare Company. And then all of a sudden came Darling, and for two hours yeah. you were on the screen. Oh, yes. And somebody said that your life off screen, there's no demarcation point. Off screen, you're the same as you are on screen. Well, I know somebody said that. I hope it's not true, because otherwise it means. I'm not acting, isn't it? That's right, almost. But you said that you disliked intensely this character of Brenda Scott that you played as Darling. Diana. Diana. Even um, though it might win for you an Academy Award. Well, that's nonsense. But, um, I did dislike her intensely. So she's a rather horrible girl, didn't you think? Well, the ends justified her means, but the ends were. Well, the ends a didn't poor justify reward. her means, dear. I mean, because she didn't really want those ends that she. Achieved. You know, what do you didn't... want? What are your ends? You said you want to be the greatest actress in the country. Yes, I said some very funny things, haven't I? Um, when you read reviews about yeah. yourself, are you surprised at what you've said? Well, I sometimes think I must have been in some sort of delirium at the time. You said one thing about marriage that I enjoyed. You said marriage requires a peculiar talent like music or writing, and that you're not sure you so. have that talent. Yes, that's right. Do you that's think, what I think. Is there a difference between marriage and love? Oh, I think a world of difference. I mean, of course, you should get married without love, but I mean, I think there's a world of difference. It's very easy to be in love and very easy to love, but very difficult to, because there's no discipline imposed. Look, look at me talking. I'm not married. I don't know about this. You said also, and I hate to keep throwing these quotes, but just to probe a little bit, find out about Julie Christie. You said that um, you're a little bit worried about becoming a star because in the group that you associate with in England, being a star is kind of square. You don't want to be square. I didn't say that. Somebody said they thought that about me, that they thought I thought that, and that's actually very, a very um, true conjecture, yes. I, I, I would never have said it because I'm, I don't, wouldn't have thought it like that, but uh, come to think of it, film stars are a bit square, aren't they? What happens when you become a star? Do you have to change your mode of living? Well, you have to accommodate your mode of living to the lack of privacy, the, the lack of time, time's a thing, that you suddenly find yourself lumping. You have no privacy. Your life is not your own. Well, I, I do have privacy, and I hope to always have privacy, but what I don't have is time, which is, therefore, I have very little time to live out my private life. If you ever look at your reviews and look at the things that people have said about you, and you've been beautifully complimented on your picture, darling, and on your uh, present Dr. Zhivago, you ever wonder, gee, is that really me? Am I the really the Julie Christie that I see on the screen in real life? No, I, I never wonder that at all. I, I know what I've said, and I, I suppose I know the impression I've made, so I, I never say, is that really me? I mean, I know what's really me. The man in your life right now, the artist, the lithographer, met you by delivering a letter. Yes, but I don't like talking about him because that's my private life. All right, you don't want to talk about that at all. I was going to say that it would induce a lot of young people to become letter carriers. <laughs> yes. Julie, thank you very much. Thank you. You enjoyed it? And we'll be back with more on Tenor on Town in a moment. All right. Thank you. Eater Christie, take one. Shirley Christie, we're here for the opening of oh, the God. door. Call start, call start. <laughs> Julie Christie, we're here for the opening of Dr. Zhivago, which we haven't seen. We'll see tomorrow night. We're at the Americana Hotel. 
Uh, I guess your life has changed considerably in the last few years, huh? You're kidding me. Is it, uh, is, is, is it fun? Is it frightening? Are you frightened at all of, of what's ahead? Because there's great success ahead for you. Anything I'm frightened of is when I, um, I mean, I think a, a film actress's life is very short. I'm just wondering what happens when I sort of can't play little girls anymore. Well, then you play older big girls. women. You play big girls, and that's all. But is, is, is it, you think, you know, ahead to that point, what's going to happen to me 10 years from now, when maybe? I, I, I don't there? think ahead at all, actually. It's the only thing I think of. And, you know, well, I wonder what one does then. I don't know. What, uh, did you, uh, uh, is Darling so far your favorite film? No, um, definitely not. No, uh, this last film, Dr. Zhivago. Dr. Zhivago. I had this most beautiful part of it. Are you friendly with Geraldine Chaplin off screen? Have you become friends? Do, do people become friends in a film? Close friends? Sometimes, sometimes. Geraldine and I saw very little of each other because we, we didn't work together at all. Not once in the um, film are we together. Do you find that you can now, you probably have lots of friends that you had before, you have made it in pictures, so to speak. Do you, can you see the people you used to know in London and, and, and friends of yours from Paris? People you were friendly with at one time. Well, I. I try to, because I've got a sort of certain friend who I'm terribly fond of, who are really my life more than anything. But I must say, the time, you know, I'm finding less and less time to see them. It's, all, it's very frustrating there. Yeah. It's, it's too bad, isn't yeah. it, that you can't have everything, yeah, but yeah. you can along the way, you know? Do you, do you, uh, do holidays, here we are going into the Christmas holidays and New Year's, uh, are you going to be home in, in London for them at all, or are you going to be traveling in the Well, I'm going to be in Los Angeles for Christmas, and, uh, I think I'll be home by New Year's Eve. I want to. There's a lot of good parties on. Do you go to parties New Year's Eve? Not usually. There are, there, every previous New Year's Eve, there's nobody, everybody thinks everybody else is giving a party. We all wander around like lost sheep. You know, but it's the same in every every country. <laughs> in the world, and the, everybody does the same thing. But this year, everybody's sort of taken a bold step, and I've got lots of invitations. Is there a particular young man you want to spend New Year's with? Uh, there's a particular young man I will spend two years with. So there. You won't tell us his name. <laughs> That's too bad. I tried, didn't I? They're asking us to wrap this up. Julie Chrissy, you've got a great future ahead of you, and I think you're doing very well right now. You know, never mind the future. Everything is fine. Looking forward to seeing you in the film, and thank you very much. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Okay. One more. And now we'll talk for just a minute or two with Julie Christie, who will uh, be seen in uh, Dr. Zhivago when it opens in Detroit shortly. Uh, Miss Christie is anxiously awaiting, I'm sure, the reviews uh, of the movie that opens in New York tomorrow night. Are you nervous about it, Miss Christie? No, I want to see the film too much. I'm dying to see the film. I'll, I'll get nervous about it when I read the reviews. Uh, I'm trying to, to put myself in your place, and, and uh, I, I think I should be terribly nervous about it after all of the raves that the columnists have, have given you. And Omar Sharif, when I talked to him two or three weeks ago, he said, this girl is so great that she must win an Academy Award nomination for her performance. Well, I just don't believe any of it, so I don't, you know, I don't expect anything. Well, this, this is a wonderful philosophy. If, if you don't build yourself up for something, then there can never be a terrible weapon, can there? No, well, I think I'm a bit cynical, actually, about it all. Uh, how do you like the USA as, as compared to your home country? I love New York. I, I, I think it's a marvelous place. There's everything for every every taste, and it's lovely. But I, I wouldn't like to stay here too long. I think it's perhaps one could get too spoiled. Well, uh, London has, has many things to offer, too. Yes, but it's not such a, such a box of delights. You know, it has things to offer, but not... I mean, you've got... Everything is most beautiful here. They've got the, one of the most lovely music, um, you know, the Museum of Modern Art. Marvelous music. Everything is, for the senses, is perfect. But uh, don't, don't you think that the, uh, the actress or actor uh, has a better opportunity for doing legitimate theater in England? Ah, uh, theater is the only thing I think probably is central in England. At the moment, I mean, it'll swing around, but at the moment, I think it's a bit more lively in England. Well, I love your country, and I'm glad you love ours, and I see the man who says that we are running out of film. Thank you for talking. Thank you. That's nice.
real pleasure. Yeah. Just seeing the picture around so long.